a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But enough about that. Let's get back to these bozos. <laughs> God damn it! Cure you! Cure you! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Jeez! Ah! Uh. This is why. We, this, is, this is why. This is why we keep this guy around. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Howdy, everybody, and welcome to um something that we've been planning for a few months now. Uh, this is our first. RPG, um, Night Rogues, Darkness Rising. Um, it's a Star Wars RPG uh, for the, uh, Star Wars Saga Edition, yeah. Um, so yeah, as per usual, I'm your resident Radiant Rider, Silver Maxis, and of course we've got our flamboyant flyer, FlutterGuy98. Hello, everyone. And we have our Riddle God, DLBot 2016. Watashi wa kamida! Loud as ever, I see. And we have our dungeon master, the Crimson Pfizer, Cure You Crimson. Yes, I will be leading these three through as much chaos as they allow me to get away with. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and of course, you are one of the nicer no. GMs. <laughs> That's it. To explain this. First session. This will be a session zero, basically the introductory session before we get into the main meat of the system. Yep. So and, first, well, first off, revealing that we are using roll twenty here. So, yeah. Hopefully, all goes well. And hopefully, I won't screw me over like a bit. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, and first of course, off on the you've checklist. got. Yep. And so, yeah, everything. Everything's yeah. looking. Pretty good so far. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, as I was saying, first off, player introductions. Oh Starting yes. Off with Silver through DL bot. Would you please describe your characters? Yeah, I guess that we should start it in order. So, um, unfortunately, I don't really have any art to show, but I am the only one playing a non-human male because, let's be honest here, we don't want this to be a sausage fest. Um, Technically, the robots are Mandalorian. But Mandalorians we'll are humans. That. They're humanoid. <sighs> no. They have one key. They, they have one key difference from human beings. They like to kill things more. Okay. Apparently, they like. So, so, so they like people in New Jersey. <laughs> oh. God damn it, the robot! Come out of it. That was funny. Do you want to get? Do you want to get like? Killed by everyone. Also, hello, cat. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyways, also, also for those who are wondering where our adventure of egg is, he decided not to join us. So, just the four of us. Is, since he is not a Star Wars fan, oh, we have a Mildred. We have Mildred online. Oh, uh, yeah. But Mildred is also not joining us, even though he is the uh, he is the gaming monk. Although we do want to give a small shout out to him because he was the one who helped us set things up. So yeah. No. Anyways. <laughs> so off for silver, please introduce your character. Yep. Uh I am playing a a Twi'lek uh scoundrel. Um her name is Le- Leola Drin. And she's kind of she's sort of the she's sort of the leader in this motley crew that we have here. So, yeah. And you get to hear me do really bad female impressions. Um, actually, your female impressions are are actually good. Brace yourself for the cringe, people. (laughs) I was joking, Flutter. Yeah, I know. Anyways, uh, since we normally do this in the order of how we... Because, you know, how it normally goes is it's me, then Flutter, then... Guts, then kill you, then DL bot. So, Flutter, you're next. I am Deendus Dean Godzo. I am a human Jedi who's a human gray Jedi was killed. Who's... Uh, you are cutting out a lot. Ah! What the ah! heck is that? What? What? I heard a screeching. That? Oh. Hmm. But um, what the hell was that? I was that might have been my mom in the background. 
Okay. So, so your mom's a screaming banshee? <laughs> Apparently. Do you want to get lightsaber slippered? Because that's how you get lightsaber slippered. Oh yeah, that is a, that is a thing that if you if you remember like us um making the making those kind of jokes of lightsaber slippery, that's kind of where this came from when we were setting up the game. But we'll get into that when we get into that. Anyways, Flutter, um, can you restart because because your audio cut out like majorly. Hmm. I I am a human gray Jedi. My name is Deendus Dean Godzo, and I severed all ties from the Jedi Order when my master was killed by when my master was killed was gunned down. By his other apprentices. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, while I was on a a routine trip to Dantooine. Wait a minute, gun down in a Jedi temple. Mm. Not in a Jedi temple. Well, I mean, gun down by, I mean, if he was gunned down by apprentice, wouldn't he be sliced and diced? Yeah, it would be more it, sliced right? and diced, but eh. yeah. Eh, whatever. It flies as it dies as it makes Julian fries. God damn it, DL Watt. Damn it. Uh, bad taste, DL. Bad taste. Anyways, is go. It, is it really? Just introduce your damn character. <laughs> All right. Quest, question, and 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 do I, I do I reveal his real name aim now or now or just the bounty hunter? Just the bounty hunter name. The bounty all, hunter right, name. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> my, um, uh, my character is there is there is a Mandalorian bounty hunter named her, her name Torque Zolda. Yes, it is. Yes, that is intentional comrade reference. Prince, Prince. He. I, I would he like is, to mention that I specifically made sure not to make any common writer references because I already did that with 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 previous. Uh, Role plays. Cough, cough, Claire Monroe. Claire Monroe. Who is basically female Philip. Uh, it's more like female Shotaro, but... Yeah, whatever. Female Shotaro with Philip's powers. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, can we, can we move on, please? Uh, Anyways, Gilbot, uh, continue. Uh, right. <clears throat> anyway, way up. He is a Mandalorian bounty hunter who, or who is not very respectful to many people. People does not know the meaning of the word subtlety, and loves to loves to, to run in guns blazing, blazing with no plan whatsoever, ever just for the fun of it. So he obviously, Leola thinks that he's kind of an idiot. Yes, and he has the dark saber. No, Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, we vetoed that. Yes. Oh yeah. Plus, that's right. I plus I don't think the dark saber was was um made around this time because uh I'm feeling a burp coming on. Hey, caramba. Anyways. Um, anyways, so yeah, it was. I mean, no, silver. So, so it was made. It just wasn't in the hands of the Mandalorian. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, the three of us are three bounty hunters who um all all met up uh like before the events of this thing starting out. And yeah. They go and your team name? Well your bounty hunter team name. Uh I guess we're the rogues. The night rogues. Oh the night, night. rogues, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. And yes, we did make a build reference. I thought it was, it was an interesting idea. idea. Honestly, yeah, it works. It yeah. was a good idea. Who, who, who do you think? Thank you, DLBot. Thank you, Torque. Oh yes, thank you, Torque. You're welcome. Anyway, no. shall we get this party started? <laughs> yes. yes. No, I mean yes. No, just to run through a couple more points on this session zero checklist that I made up. This ca this campaign will be running normally if we don't have any problems on Tuesdays. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Monday, it's it's done today on a Monday because I have stuff to do. Yeah. So normally we should be fine for Tuesdays with our actual first episode. Yep, yeah. and hopefully everything goes well. This is yes, this is our prologue. A prologue mm-hmm. and with kind of crappy models. Mine's just a picture. Okay, no. Oh, oh, where? No. Okay, here we go. Yep. This game hopefully will be running through Roll20. However, if Roll20 decides to fall out on us, we will fall back on Theatre of the Mind or any other thing we can do. I will try to keep things controlled, but a little bit of chaos doesn't destroy much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, when it comes to rolling dice, you mean, you mean make sure I. Adventure one. No. Wait, uh, what? What was that a reference to? Chaos from Sonic Adventure. Oh. No deal, but. Do you want to get lightsaber slippered? Because that's how you get lightsaber slippered. Exactly. If you, during combat, if you guys want to get. A bit creative with how you take down enemies, that's all fine by me. I enjoy a little bit of madness. When it comes to rolling, make sure everybody's watching and you roll using if you just roll what you need to roll and then we'll sort out later. Yeah. Just make sure you, you, you make sure make sure you keep it nice and clean. For the yeah. for those watching, the roll the rolls that we are able to do are D four, D six, D eight, D ten, D twelve. Or the classic D twenty. Uh, mm-hmm. how do you roll it again? I don't exactly know. The, the yeah, yeah, dice um, yeah, you, dice yeah, roller. yeah. You guys dice are gonna. Button. Yeah, um, you, you guys are probably gonna have to walk me through this the most since I have never played a play, play a TRPG in my life. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, Nadeva, just click, the dice just the dice Oh, there we go. Just... Now I can. Oh, okay. How did you type yeah. that? You don't type it. You click the dice roller button, and you choose the and you choose the dice that you want to roll. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is my first time doing. Oh, yeah. de- this is my ter- first time doing. Uh, doing roll okay. twenty, guys. Okay. So I'm sorry. Okay. I, okay. I have the dice. Ro- okay. I have the dice roller open. Okay. And I think to the advanced uh, roll, you roll. You roll one. You can also roll. There we D100s. go. I did it. You can also yeah. roll d one hundreds. Nice. If necessary. At D100, you. We're, not, we're not playing D100. fatal where you get to where you are able to roll D1000s. Oh, such a God. Thing as a D1000? I hope not. Basically, not you, just roll, you, roll a lot of D, you roll a lot of D100s. Yes, you roll 10 D100s, basically. All right. Basic. Okay, but the okay. basic rolls. With the basic roll system, you just click the dice and it rolls it for you, but with this campaign, with sometimes you have to add modifiers, you just do the advanced roll, you choose how many dice you want to roll, what dice you roll, and then you add your little number you need to add, and it'll calculate mm-hmm. it all for you. And then I'll tell you if you pass or fail. All right. Yeah, that's now, basically... And, thankfully, we can actually... We see our roll. We can actually see our dice on the de- on de- on roll twenty. Yeah. yeah it saves people from buying yeah. dice, but for now, combat. Wait, do we have a three D dice? Probably we, we probably won't get the combat in this first session. We will just be doing mostly role play. But if push comes to shove, we can do a little combat simulation. Yeah. So, are, does that mean I we get to start a bar fight? No. 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 Well, maybe. We do, we do Honestly, not. I kind of want to do a bar fight. Thank you! Especially with that flimsy little knife. I mean... Do you know? <laughs> Alright, let's get into character, DM, guys. Okay? DM is speaking. I will be ever running one custom rule I made up for this campaign. Okay. Yes? And that is insanity. Ooh. Oh. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought it was no disintegrations. Okay, nice. That yeah, was well, good. <laughs> I don't and get it. You're actually Mandalorian, so you can actually make that joke. I don't get it. So we're what? episode five. No disintegrations. No disintegrations. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Yeah, Dio, yeah, but you're actually made more Mandalorian, so we can actually make that joke. <laughs> yes. All right, so <laughs> let so we've we've waited we've we've we've, we've kept them waiting long enough. Shall we? Uh, yes. Shall we start the thing? Oh, I start mm. now. All right. Now, do the thing, Leala. Now that the session zero checklist is over, we may start. All right. So. <clears throat> There's a simple night on the wonderful world of Coruscant, bustling skies filled with flying cars, rowdy neighbours, and an occasional thing or two. In, a, in this one little bar in the outskirts of the city, we come across our three young adventurers. Sitting across from a very shady looking masked man. Would you guys like so to say anything? Oh yeah, we should... So, so, yeah, we should probably describe it. Yes. So, okay, so remind me, why did we agree to meet this guy again? Because he specifically contacted me. So, why aren't you meeting him here? Why did you drag us along, along here? Here, I could be at me back at the ship. You know, just relax and. Torque, we do not leave. We do not leave our we do not leave our fellow crew members behind. If this had been a trap, exactly. then Dean then Dean might have then Dean might have been in some serious trouble if we didn't come. And you do know who this man is, right? Uh no. Why? Should I? Yes! Excuse, um excuse me, sirs, but does my reputation not precede me? This man is Revan! Shh. Do not say much more. I am trying to keep myself under cover here. I am not meant to be off my ship. I called you here because I have a little favor. Alright, so what is it exactly you that you a... want? What is it? I have what a is small pest problem that needs to be taken care of. I will pay you handsomely. There's a few beneficial prizes in store. I have a few speeder bikes that need offloading and a couple of fighter ships. What exactly are we what are we exactly are we talking about with pests? Let me guess, Rogue Jedi? No. I wouldn't hire you guys for that to risky at the moment. I could handle them myself. This is a special case, one I cannot be seen to be involved in. Oh. <clears throat> that is because... why? To give you some backstory on this character, he was once a very, very trusted accompaniment of mine. I trusted his decisions and learned a few tricks of the trade from him. However, he has grown a bit greedy in his final years and has decided to... Uh, request a few bothersome things of me, and it's really been getting on my nerves the past few weeks. Seriously, right now, with the amount of stress I have dealing with the end of the Mandalorian Wars, no oh. offense to you, no, no offense to you, Mandalorian, you look like a good guy, but. Let's just say I. Let's just say he pissed off. Let's just say he pissed off a few. Let me guess. Um, he's Mandalorian. No, he's not Mandalorian. He's just very, very much friends with a good couple of people in the Mandalorian army. And he kind of tried to rough me up about a couple of weeks ago. Oh. He's been tr he's been trying to get his Jews off of me because I owe him a lot of money. And so you want so you want us <clears throat> to eliminate him? Yes, I want you to take out the trash. 
<laughs> that doesn't exactly that doesn't exactly seem like the Jedi way. No, but this is a man who doesn't necessarily follow the Jedi way, like I do. I am neither, I am neither Jedi nor am I Sith. I am not a he's, great Jedi, which I can tell you are, my good friend. I am just someone who has a keen interest in certain things, and I have had a troubled bringing, but right now, I enlisted your services because I heard you guys know how to get shit done. Yes. And, you so, Mandalorian, I'd like, I'd like to mention one thing. Okay. Hey, hey what make is sure it? You, make sure you leave no evidence. I don't want people knowing he disappeared. <clears throat> So, so, so in other words, 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 murder him, him, him mercilessly. Got it. In other words, make sure there's, make sure the only thing that's left of him is dust. Uh, uh, does, that uh, mean, does, yeah. does that mean I get to disintegrate him? Upon, upon, upon Torque's comment, Liala promptly rolls her eyes. Focus, Torque. What? No, what? No, fuck. Oh fuck, I'm just, I'm just doing this by the numbers. One thing that I, one thing that I have to ask about this, Mr. Revan, is exactly how dangerous is this fellow? We don't want to be going in right. over our heads. By himself, he's not difficult. But where he is, where he currently is, is another story. Where is he? He's currently, he's currently at his penthouse in the higher ups of Coruscant. His penthouse being one considered one of the most. Out of character, are you, Major? Repeating that, he, you cut out. Okay. <clears throat> his penthouse <laughs> in the upper uh, upper regions of Coruscant has been considered one of the hardest places to get into because of the guards he hires, mainly ex-Mandalorian soldiers. Ah, oh, that's the case. Ah, oh, this is definitely going to be difficult. Now, from what I hear, some of his guards have went off duty tonight because of the celebrations going on. So you might find it easy, but there's still going to be some guards around him to make sure he's safe. Yes. But, as of now, here's what I'm offering. <laughs> Thousand credits each. Up front. Another thousand upon completing the mission. Uh, Two thousand, so five thousand credits. No, a thousand up front, another a thousand afterwards, so two thousand each. Yes, two, oh, total of so six thousand. Six thousand. Yes, six thousand. And um, my leftover stock of speeders and ship. Because right. I've seen the ship and I can hold, I've seen its bay. It can hold a couple, it can hold at least a speeder for each of you and a couple of small fighter ships. I might be able to supply you with those. Real quick, out of character, is there a space cat in here? <laughs> well, 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 to be fair, the he, bridge, bridge has established that there's such a thing as space duck. <laughs> Quack! Quack! <laughs> such, such, such a majestic creature. Okay, uh, back Boy. in character now. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, no, no worries, Flutter. No. My friends, I must bid you guys farewell. I need to get going. I oh. just, I have one. I have urgent business to attend to with a, with an old acquaintance of mine. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Do we get yeah. do we have any sort of sort of sort of, sort of other for, for weapons besides this, uh, the speed ears and stuff? Uh, 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 I would very much like to upgrade my arsenal. Leo, Leo, just. Um, puts a puts a hand um, um, puts a hand uh, between between or er, well puts an arm between Revan and uh, and Torque. 
Do not no, ask no, no, for no, more no. than we need. Do not haggle with a former Sith Lord. Hey, I was just asking if, if, if there's anything uh, else he mentioned. Fl uh, Flutter, real quick, out of character. Um, what? Okay, I'm, 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 ugh, I'm, I'm losing, or I'm, ugh, I'm having some issues with the uh, continuity stuff here. Is this before Revan turns to the dark side? Well, he said nor oh. Sith, Sith or Jedi, so uh, this is after. Kyoryu, can you can you um can you clarify real quick? Revan basically you he basically went Jedi Sith Jedi Sith, so he's 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 basically a half and half. Yes. Okay, so this takes place after the first game. Revan currently, his age wise, he's around three hundred and forty. Yes. Wait. He's old. And let me double Wait, check. I thought this was I thought this was taking uh, place before the Kotor games. Okay. Repeat that, man. You cut. You cut out. I thought this was taking place before the Kotor games. It is. How is he 340? Humans don't live that long. Set. Magic! Shut up, you weirdo. Uh, force. Oh my god! Silver, to explain, he basically used the force to prolong his life. Yes. Ah. Uh, also, Revan, I found, I found, I found this. Many names. I am so confused! No, I am I so confused! Revan turns to Tork. Damn it, damn it, Tork. Tork, let me level with you. What is it you're after? You seem to be very eager. <laughs> well, honestly, we, we, we anything ain't really, but I'm more after unique weapons. And one, and one of a kind. I have weapons that you can bear. Can you oh, find anywhere else? No. You're not, you're not going for the dark saber, are you? No! Out of character, Flutter is aiming at the body Gashikon Sparrow. Oh yeah, God the Sparrow. Damn God damn it, of course you brought that in. And yes, that is how, that is what Revan looks like under the mask. <laughs> you're, 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 you're explaining out the gif, aren't you? Oh god, no. of course you made it. What? Okay, this is why I didn't look at the Discord. And now I'm looking at the Discord and I'm like, okay, well, okay then. No. For, the, for, for those oh. viewing, our Mandalorian posted a gif of Night Rogue kicking Bloodstark. Oh, it looks like he's dancing. Mm hmm. Stop, no. guys! Focus. No. Back. At character. least, at least I posted something that is actually relevant. Okay. What? Mo back in character. Back in character. No, <clears throat> my good friend. I will see what I can do. I do have a few weapons I might need to part with, but for now, get on with the mission. I have given you the coordinates of this guy's penthouse. But beware for his guards and please, for the love of God, make sure nobody, make sure you don't cause a commotion. I want to keep this quiet before I get off this planet. Yes. Uh, I make no promises. Don't mind him, he's an idiot. Oh, yes! No. We will try okay. our best to not cause any, any sort of trouble on this mission. Yes, Master Revan. Give me a second. And yes, out of character, Jedi refer to other Jedi as, as Master. Even if they're not Jedi Masters even if, and if, even even if they even even if they have no ties with the Order or, or aren't Masters. Okay. <clears> hmm, <throat> give me a second, uh, da, 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 da.
Now, for now, since basically the way Roll Twenty's been screwing with me, we're going to have to go with a little bit of theatre in the mind. Well, Roll Twenty is working on our, on my end. Yeah, it's working here. Uh, not to, not. It's it's just when it comes to creating new tabs for the different oh. maps. Oh. Uh, for now, that's what that's what I'm saying. Out of car, out of GM. Basically, for now. We're going with a little bit of theatre of the mind. Yeah. Use your imaginations. Imagination! Of course. Now, as you leave the bar, you see the new sort of crimson sunset of Coruscant. Oh, Big towering skyscrapers, a launch. Really quick, paper. as. Uh, oh, sorry. As you oh. walk out onto the sort of landing strip, you see your ship off in the distance. Oh, oh, a couple of Revan's troopers are loading on the are giving the thousand credits to Y four Red Nine. Okay. Um Your first as, set of credits. Uh, as they <clears> start <throat> as they start to leave, Leal looks over at Dean. M must be hard coming back to Coruscant. You have no idea. Just well, well we're for. going well we're gonna try and handle this mission as quickly as we can, and then you don't have to be here anymore. Good, because no, I uh, dread being on this god on this on this godforsaken planet. Hey, hey, no, hey! We will we'll about the f well. At least it's not not, not some barren wasteland of Tatooine. <sighs> fair enough. Really, fair enough. But okay, no. also out of character, that... uh, out of character, Dielbot. I see what you did there. Yes, we see what you did there. Episode four, episode four reference. Well, not just episode four reference. The fact that uh, that every single movie seems to start on a desert planet. Oh yeah. I mean, not huh. every single movie, but still. <laughs> Most. Yeah. Most of them. Well, yeah, me for Jakku. And, and let's and and let's not forget that the worries about sand, how it's rough, it's coarse, it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. Exactly. Anyways, continue. Now, out in the strip, you see Revan walking over to his small little sp uh, transport. He gets in and flies off towards his ship, which is docked a couple of, couple of miles out. Do you guys uh, do you guys want to try and... There's a couple of people walking about. There's a couple of droids handing drinks around, because everybody seems to be celebrating for some reason. Y four N nine's talking with the guard at this hand. Hmm. Hey Mike. Now, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. You were uh, uh, repeat what you said exactly. Out on the strip, after you see Revan fly off, you see a couple of people walking about, a couple of droids. They're going about handing drinks on trays, a few astromechs floating about. A couple of what look to be soldiers walking back from your ship. And, and for some strange reason, an, a small toy Darien seems to be floating towards your ship. Leol, Leol looks over at the, at the Troy Darien and... Uh, Why is he here? I'm not sure, but we should probably uh, we should probably figure that out. Um, Leola pulls out a Leola pulls out a uh, pulls out a small communicator and and speaks into it. T four ship er, prep the ship for launch, and be careful. There's there's a Trodarian <laughs> heading straight towards it. Okay, dokie. And do you guys start walking towards the ship? Yeah. Um, yes. um does does Leola get any sort of response from her uh, astro droid? Basic beeps and boops and all and all and you just start to see the engine start to flare up. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well get your weapons ready, boys. I don't think this is going to be any or I think that we might have a bit of a bit of trouble getting out of here. 
Hey, trouble, my favorite. So you guys start walking over to the ship. You see this guy, Daddy, and walking around the ship, taking notes. Um, Leal um, walks up to it, and Leal walks up or walks up and says, "Excuse me. Uh, I do believe that is my ship you are looking at." Yes. Why excuse me, Miss? Sorry for the interruption. I just noticed this ship out the corner of my eye was just looking to. It's put not. A price on it. It's not for sale. Not for sale. Oh, I'm sure we can come to a small agreement. I mean, I am a humble dealer, and gave you plenty of credit. Yeah, no, oh, no, no, thank no, you. No, thanks, 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 wing boy. Now, uh, piss off. You see him. Tor. You see him click his fingers and so Nice. Uh, I have to to handle this. Now, as you as talk starts talking to this guy, he snaps his fingers, and two large-looking <laughs> bodyguards appear behind him, and they start looking. Okay, boss, what is it? These people seem to be uh, to open your uh, big mouth, didn't you, talk? These people seem to be uh, a bit troublesome. Would you mind having me deal with the problem? You had to open your big mouth, didn't you, Tork? Um, hey, I, how else am I supposed to get a, 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 Should I roll for initiative? Way. Should we roll? Yes, should we roll for initiative? No, not yet. This is okay. not combat. This is not... This is not... Out of... Out of character. Hey, can I... Uh, you, Tork, do you forget what I can do? As... As... Um, out of character, Flutter. Do you remember the old line? I'm a Tartarian. Your Jedi mind tricks do not work on me. Exactly! Oh, that's right. Uh, guys? Uh, I was about to say something. Um, as, um, as, as they're, as they're talking, we all are just, um, can I, can I do a small stealth roll just to sneakily, um, just have my blaster at the ready? You may. But like right. I said, this is not com this is not combat in the traditional sense. This is. Bartering. You said that it's the you possibility have... of combat. Combat there can happen at any time. But yeah, but th there's also a possibility you could just convince them that this is a lost cause. I'm gonna be honest here. Leo ain't gonna play that way. So um, the persuasion roll is charisma, which is which the charisma modifier is two. Plus the train skill, or wait, no, it's Dex, not Stack, not 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 or not not Dex, but Dex is also two. So, so yeah. Roll a d twenty plus two. Um, well, plus five since I have stealth train, so that's seven. Roll. All right, rolling. Uh, twenty five. <laughs> Holy crap! Nice. Okay. There's time for the toy daddy to roll. Some, however, for some reason, the 3D dice is... Hmm. Odd. Anyway. Let's see him beat a 25. Nope. nope. So, you guys aren't really interested in selling me this wonderful shit. Okay, okay, I understand. But, be warned. I always get my shit. A little parting gift. He tells one of the bodyguards to go around to a little stall just across from where oh, you there. park. As he as he goes into the stall, you notice that the Tidarian starts going into his pocket and pulls out a small little small little control, flicks a button on it, and all of a sudden, what is that for? You start hearing a small buzzing sound. Did he place a tracker on our ship? No. Was somebody, uh, would anybody, does anyone have perception? Uh, my perception's at a negative one, so, nope. Anybody uh, here have a decent perception? They can roll? Uh, I have six. Go roll ahead, roll. Roll, roll a d20 plus six. See what you get. Okay, so... 
D20. D20 plus six. D20 plus six. Advanced roll. So do I put... So, oh, so at the plus and the zero, I put six, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And roll... And one and one D20? Yep. Yes. All right. Rolling. Okay, that's a lot better Ooh. than what you rolled beforehand. Yes. Okay, Tork, I think you the corner is you... Be, you don't want DL to be the Mike Shell of this TRPG. Yes, let's okay. not... Talk out of the corner, out of the corner of your eye, you notice that you notice what's making the buzzing sound. Coming from his shop seems to be a small vulture droid. Oh no! <sighs> oh boy! But is he planning? Either stay and fight the thing, or get in your ship and try and take off. Um. Should wait, be... wait a minute. Quick, real quick, out of character. Vulture Roots didn't exist back then. I feel like this is... Look. I, I uh, There's so much look. anachronic data. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. It fits over. It's, it's the equivalent <laughs> of a Vulture Droid. It's like a small drone. Okay. Good. You described it as a I'm Vulture just, Droid, I'm... and I was a bit confused. It's basically what it looks like. There it's is. The wait, 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 wait. And, it, and it makes the same Actually... kind of buzzing sound. What is it, oh. Flutter? They were operational before the Clone Wars. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. Never Remember mind. this. Really this we should we should note this takes place during like during the time of the Old Republic. So mm -hmm. during yeah, so never dur mind. so during the I time of the first two you, Clone Wars. I was basically giving you uh, the equivalent of what it looks like. I wasn't going to specifically put put you up against Vulture droids. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, okay. Nope. Leola Leola just looks looks look just looks at, at the man and think and asks, Are you threatening us? Because we will not let you take our ship. Can I shoot him? <laughs> Torque. Hold. We do not Okay. Want, we do not. We do not want torque. Hold. We do not want okay. to cause uproar in such a planet like this. Trust me. I no. know. He started it. He started it, but that doesn't mean that you have to finish it. Guys. Okay. Let Let Kiori speak. No. The Tidarian seems to look a little confused at what you just said and says, My friends, my friends, do not be alarmed. The Vulture oh. Droid is just my way of bringing crap over to me because of my lazy ban. Oh. Really now? Now, I didn't. I, I would never have guessed. Okay, okay. Don't I, admit it. I, admit I kind of, I kind of nicked it off of an old friend, but still, it was repurposed. It has no weapons on it whatsoever. Oh, the taser blew in the Good. Now, underneath the Vulture Droid seems to be a case. Ooh. The case gets dropped off in front of the toy down in here. Take this. I should not take my thief. As he leaves, the Vulture Droid falls with him. But... You notice that... He seems to be talking with one of the guards and laughing. Do you open up the case? Should we? Hmm. Uh, make sure to check your skills, guys. Let me open my... Oh, I, 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 will, I will say this. If you have, wait, if you have any do you have skill, our character sheets? Wait, wait, wait a second. I have, I have your, I, have, I should have everybody's character sheets. Let me have a look. Just so I can give you guys the just, skills. It's just, it's just, there's no module to open them on roll, roll 20. I have, I have mine on my phone. I have mine up on my computer. Alright, let me open mine. Cause, if somebody has a, has a, has a good perception and wants to look at the box. Well, 
Torque does. Who has? Does anyone here have mechanics? Uh, I don't have it trained. Do I need to have it trained? Wait, wait, wait. Let me oh. see. see. Oh, I have mechanics. Oh, okay. Are they trained? Is it trained? Yes. Okay then. With skills, oh, you don't. You train just gives you a bonus. You can still roll for the skill. You just don't get the bonus from the trained. Okay. Well, ah, okay. So, what would I? What would I roll for? Oh, for mechanics. What's your mechanics? Is a uh, intelligence. What's your intelligence modifier? Uh, intelligence is plus one. So, d twenty plus six. Okay. So just like so just like before? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same way. Alright. Alright. Okay, you might you managed to basically break the lock on the case. It was a small combination lock. Inside the case is a couple of bags of credits. Ooh. Yep. If, if you get, if you guys would like to count each, there's, three, there's four bags. One for each of us, or one for each of us. Plus one. In each bag, there is 500 credits. Leal looks at it skeptically. Is he bribing us? He can't have our ship. Yes, he cannot have our ship, though. Leave, leave the credits uh, here. We're not taking them. Yeah, we're not. Are sure we can't just take. Are we sure we can't just take them and leave? We can, but torque. We're civil torque. We do not. We do not take bribery. Yes, cure you. Too. You two, but you two are no fun. We're no fun because, because we don't, because he may be trying to bait us. Like I said. Try, li try living in this, try living in this planet for most of your life and tell me, and tell me if, and tell me if someone is trying to bait you into doing something that you don't want to do. I have. Yeah, guys, out of character, like I said, sometimes credits is just credits. Sometimes a grave is just a grave. Regardless, regardless. This might, I mean, this might be, this, this might be just him saying sorry for being rude. Oh. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Okay then. But he also said, he also said that he'll that he always will get his ship. Yes. Yeah, but he could he could be referring to the next ship down the on the next platform. Oh. Okay. We should take these credits. No, so you really? Wait, I would you never have thought of doing so. You pick up the crate. Don't, you pick up the briefcase. Don't you? Uh, take it. Fine. I don't like, the, but I don't like how that guy acted. No. 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 You know what I'm referring to, right? No. As you uh, guys get back to the quick, out of character. No, I don't. Know what you what you're referring to? A lightsaber. Oh, take the lightsaber. Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, ugh, I'm sorry. It I is. Know, it's been it a is, while. Fill the botch. Ladies and gentlemen, this yeah. is why this is why we are having a session zero, so that this so that this crap does not happen when we actually do the. Uh, yeah. Hey. yeah. The, 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 the stuff and the things. Okay. Exactly. Now, um, while, Silver, all... while Silver is bonking Tork, right? Yep. We all, we all takes that? the lightsaber and bonks t and bonks Tork on the head. Ow! Tork, Tork, do not snark at a Jedi. Ugh. 
as you said, now Flutter, as you say that, since you presumably shouted that, everybody in the bloody port turns to you and goes, fuck Jedi. And they start trying to hide their drinks. Well, 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 look what you did. You did. It, 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 it. Carry along, carry along, citizens. I am not. Now, as you say that, uh, everybody. Why don't you, 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 you use your time? Mind, I gotta make him. And, and just pretend we're not here. Uh, no. That's, that's irresponsible, and I am trying to be civil. Irresponsible? Oh, well, you're a great Jedi. Yes, but but both great of you Jedi also calm have down standards. now. We do not want to cause any more of a stir. Let's head back to our ship. So as you, as, you, as you guys walk on, as you guys walk on your ship, you notice that there's a couple of boxes in your main storage case, even we brought on by Revan's men. Let me guess. Yes, this, those are those are our speeders. Yes, one of the, three of the boxes contain speeders. Two two of the larger boxes contain small fighter craft, and there's a special there's a there's a little box labeled torque. <laughs> that must be for me. We all roll for eyes. Obviously, it's roll, for you. Roll mechanic. Obviously, it's for you. You dolt. Do you have a roaming mechanics again, please? <clears throat> Same as last time? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh! oh yeah. An average roll. Now, as you start uh, fiddling for those with who, For those who don't know, or, for those who don't know, Dielbot just rolled a four. No, a four plus six, so he rolls a ten. Oh, ten. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Has... Roll. Oh. Basically, got as, as he starts fumbling around with the co the control pad to try and open the box. <laughs> basically, oh. cuts to the screen where it says, "Please wait thirty seconds to re-enter the password." What? Oh, Mandal Mandalor Mandalorian! I'm just our Mandalorian here. Just screwed up. Just screwed up on his on his mechanic. <laughs> no. What's the you, matter, Torque? I thought you. Both, I thought you were able both, to. Both, both of you. Both of you. Shut up. What's the matter, Torque? No, I thought you, that. No. This is what you no. get for starting at a Jedi. No, as you get. No, as you guys are arguing, Y four N nine comes down the stairs, wondering what all the commotion is. <sighs> no. Uh, nothing. Ain't it's, ain't it's just these two were right now. Maybe because I couldn't get this damn case open. Uh, are you mind a quick, mind a quick, help. mind a quick description of the droid? You basically see what looks to be a, a, a weird looking, a weird looking in design protocol droid. She looks like a young schoolgirl with ponytails and a weird face mask, carrying a small data pad and has a Odd, purpley, browny, white plating. Mm. Her headpiece seems to have a blonde hairstyle. Mm. Like I said, maybe you could ask her for help. All right, um, fine. Since you don't seem to know, like, no. Since you don't seem to know what you're doing with this case. And it's you. Would you like some help, Tork? Yes, Yang, that'll be very nice. Thank you. I'll go get the ship ready. We we all get on we all get on. Yes. As Yang walks over to the console, she types in a few numbers. She said she got the code off the guys. As as the case opens up, you see in it a small sort of like carry case in the shape of a it looks like a bow and arrow. Is <laughs> our Mandalorian going to be arching? As 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 he clips open as he as you clip open the box, 
when I flip the to wood, you see it's not a bow and arrow, but much as if it looks like two small sickles. Or tonfas. Do you pick them up? <laughs> I like these. Is this what you and were? Is, was this um, what, you, what you were asking Revan about? Maybe. Tell the truth, Torque. Okay, he did, fuck. He, he did say he liked exotic weapons, and these are the most exotic that Revan had. For those who don't know, it's basically the Gashpon Sparrow from Howl Rider X8. Uh, but, why? Duh, Jesus, DL bot. No, the, there's a there's a slight difference with these ones. They're not entirely based on the Gashicon Sparrow. I made a few adjustments. <laughs> oh, jeez. Go on. So, do you uh, bring up your character sheet and go down to your weapons? Uh, you should have a spare slot left. I do. Just put, uh, name it whatever you wish. For simplicity's sake, I'll just call it the Sparrow. Mm -hmm. So, calling it the Sparrow. Attack is uh, for your, your normal melee attack, plus 4. Damage is 3d8 and 2d8 stun. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so attack's plus 4. Damage. 3d8 plus 2... Uh, 3d8 slash 2d8 stun. I should actually keep this open. Okay. Critical is 20 times 2. And the type is... Oh, it reminds me, we, did, we never... Reminds me, Curie, we never um, put the critical... Is critical always 20 times 2? Yeah, you basically, if you roll a 20 and you conform it, you get times 2 damage. Okay, because my crit spaces are blank. This is out of character, of course. Yeah. Same for the viral blade that I have? Everything is the same. And in, uh, if your type is unknown. Unknown? Ooh, interesting. Put in, no put in notes. You feel uneasy when wielding this. As if something is like some sort of entity. Hmm? Did he cur Did he curse those? You f it feels like these have been infused with some dark energy. Oh no. No. And also, oh, dark you? energy? Dark what? energy? Insert Mega Man 8 joke here. Oh god damn it. Funny. No, right. no, 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 no. That would be evil energy. Oh yeah, it is evil Thank energy. Same difference. Anyways, um, no. sh should I roll a uh, should I roll a a pilot roll to start up the ship? Not yet. No. Okay. After all this, you as you guys walk up to the main area of the ship, Yang is sitting down reading her notepad. And of course, the place seems a bit messy. Oh, almost. Almost as like right. it's not almost as like this this ship has not been cleaned in weeks. Oh, should we do some cleaning while we're while we while we fly? And Silva, yes, you may make a pilot's check now. All right, and of course, and Kate and my astromech R two KT. It's just. Sitting, it's just standing, standing in the corner, deactivated for now. Okay. Wait, we both have Astromex? Remember, I I wanted KT. All right, all right. There's your your Astromech helps you with the with piloting. His Astromech is basically there to basically guide him. It's basically nice. a it was a souvenir. Yes, it was a souvenir from the Empire. 
The Empire. Well, oh, the Sith Empire. Sith Empire. Besides. Yes. Besides. All right. So I got this, a. This so has, I got. This has Tremec. This has Tremec. Is different than yours. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, I rolled a 14. As, as you guys get ready to take off, it starts getting a wee bit bumpy at the beginning because we're trying to weave through the traffic of Coruscant. Uh, if we're... Now, for, for what are you said you were going to do a bit of cleaning. Yes. Roll me a d20 plus your dex modifier. Dex modifier is 2, so d20 plus 2. First roll. Twenty-one. Ooh. Okay, as uh, as uh, we was flying, no, we are. It's flying. Mm-hmm. You start cleaning up the place, getting everything back into all the weapons that have been dragged out and cleaned back into the armory. Oh, the... Why do you always have to be this messy? Okay, what? Well, it's boring. Well, it's boring. Well, it's boring just we... destroying away weapons. A queen weapon is an efficient weapon, but leaving it out of the open is a bit of a bad idea. Yeah. Do you want to? Some... Do you want any broken weapons? Mm. Yeah. Store them when you're done using them. And the wife for it, and Yang starts making snarky comments. Lola's just just sitting back as she as she's as she's flying, listening to the two to the two bicker. <sighs> now, s- suddenly, even I even I know to store my weapons when I'm done using them. Now, suddenly, as you start flying through Coruscant following the directions led given to you by Revan, the your ship's radar starts spiking. Oh no. That's a bad that's a bad Leo looks at Leola looks at it a bit confused. Uh, uh roll me perception. So which if you don't have perception, just roll me a D ten plus your wisdom. No D twenty plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah that's a that's a that's a D twenty minus one. You can still roll pretty high. You could get 19 minus 1. 11. 11. Okay. You see, a, you see a couple of blips on your radar. And normally you'd think of it as just traffic come too close to your ship, but <clears throat> the speed that these are going, these are definitely aiming for your ship. Um, Leal looks at it, looks to, looks to her droid, uh, T4K7. T4, what's that? Uh, T, let's see, T4 is going to make a roll. 1d20 so for Leola. perception, which is plus 5. My astro, or well, actually, actually, out of character, silver. My yes. astromech is actually, has actually been in combat before. Oh, okay. So is combat ready? Why are she both your combat. droids why are both your droids combat ready? Why not? Well, well Yang is a protocol droid, is she not? True. Oops. Accidentally closed the tab. Whoops. As ah, as Dean Tony. Where did Dean. you go? Well, you're here, but you're out of roll twenty. No. Oh, here he is. There. Now, Flutter, as you turn around to Y4 and then you see her sort of messing about with her systems and you see suddenly that her hand starts molding into different weapons. She goes, oops. What? Why were you doing that? Uh, let's just say I had a few upgrades. What did Torque give you? Not Tart, but an old friend of his. Oh. Why would you recognize a protocol droid? Anyways, Leola um, shouts back to the guys. Uh, guys, we might have a little bit of we might have a, a little bit of uh, turbulence. 
Okay. Yeah. Turbulence, that, yeah, that's another word, word, word for we can shoot things. Now, normally in this situation, Torque would run up to the the turret on the top, which is the ladder's just right in front of him, and Dean would head towards the, one of the side turrets. All right. As you guys look out, you see two speeder bikes chasing after you. Why? Why speeder bikes? Just fast and fast and mobile. No, I know. No, I know that. But why would they be chasing a ship? On speeder, speeder bikes. Bike. Their, their weapon systems are weak. No. Something's up. Hold, hold suddenly, position. Suddenly, you hear a sort of noise coming over your radio, basically saying, "Is basically they're telling you to pull over for a second. And you notice that these speeder bikes seem to be officers. Oh, oh no! Ah, ah, boys! Oh, ah, no. boys! Come on! They pull the ship over. They they come in and they say. We, you seem to be going, going at an unreasonable speed through these airways. Uh, would you explain what's your rush? Yala, explain. Um, so roll a persuasion roll. Persuasion? Oh. Well, right. uh, you can... Tr I probably... Persuasion, but more in the case... Are you, you, are you going to tell them a tr Are you going to tell them... Trying to deceive them, or are you going to try and... You trying to deceive them with a persuasion? Uh, I am not exactly sure what to do in this situation. <laughs> uh, I, I, are you going to tell them you're going to go kill someone? Are you going to try and persuade them they were rushing to get somewhere in a hurry, like me yeah. up with someone or try? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, okay, persuasion eleven. <laughs> Why am I rolling so many elevens? I think we found. I think we found our Mike Shell. No, I don't want to be the Mike Shell. Too bad. And lucky uh, enough, these cops have bad charisma. Yes. They have negative five. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, okay, just don't do it again. We've had a rough day with a lot of people speeding around you to the festivities. Wait, uh, shouldn't, Sorry, shouldn't I, wait, yo, you, shouldn't I actually, shouldn't I actually, like, explain? Like, yeah. Also, if you want to explain, explain, to them, you can... explain that you'll be arrested. Exactly. So, no. Leo, so, Leo looks at, looks at the two of them, and, 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 base, and, and says, We're sorry, we didn't exactly see the, the speed limit. We are currently in a hurry. We need to take care of a couple of things. Um, okay, okay, fine. We shall leave you be. Just be careful. We're not too sure. We've had a lot of problems involving some street races in the local area. I can assure you, we are not. We are not racing. We have. We have very important business to attend to. Yes. Okay, these, so. these guys walk back down and get on their bikes and sort of speed away. Yang had tried to basically... Just, Yang's now sitting in at one of the communication desks, messing about with the radio. Does Torp come down from the... Does Torp come down from the turret? So, so do we get to shoot them or not? No, no officers. Why would you? Why would you shoot law-abiding law officers? Uh, because we're bounty hunters. Hunters and the rules don't apply to us. Duh. Some rules don't apply to us, but Le the law does. Leo, Leo, Leo ex ex um, extends a hand to or extends a hand towards uh. Towards Dean, being like, Dean? Go ahead. <laughs> um, does does Dean hand Leola the lightsaber? Yes, he does. And once again, 
she she whack she whacks um she whacks Torque upside upside the head with the blunt end of the lightsaber. Well, the the end that doesn't the have the uh yeah the, the hilt. hilt yeah the hilt of the lightsaber. Bonk. Ow. Why would you want to shoot at officers that are just doing their job? Uh, because I'm bored. You may be bored, but do you want us to get in trouble with the... Do you want us to get in trouble with the Senate? Let's just go. We need... We need to... We, we need to... Ugh. I cannot speak today. I do not... Okay. I do not want to get into any more trouble than, than I... That I need to on this godforsaken planet. Let's just Do go. You know we need, let's just go. We I'm... need. We need to get into position as soon as possible. Remember, we have a limited time frame here. Yes. He started it. Well, I'm ending oh. it. Oh, shut up! Now, unless you want to get whacked upside the head again, I well, suggest I both of my lightsabers. Right, right, chief. Thank you. You can tell that I'm not in the best of moods. Be ah, uh, real, real quick, out of out of character. Skype just went off. My bad. You can tell that I'm not in the best of moods because, yeah, I do not have the best of memories with this planet. Anyways, um, so Leola flies the ship into into position where they are supposed where they are supposed to be for the uh, for the mission. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Need to remember how I planned out as a. Uh, hmm. So, hmm. professionalism. We're swimming in it. To be fair, to be fair, we stopped we stopped swimming in it when Roll Twenty decided to dick us over. Yes. Also, I am not. I am not posting that. Well, actually, should I post this? Because this involves something that did take place in space. Space. Flutter. Not now. Um, you'll find this funny. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, balance and manager my own heart. Question. An automated voice begins reading Rafty's, Rafter's Lucky X cross Lucky X Hammy Friend Fiction aloud. Answer. You fool! Rafter's older drafts cannot be accessed that easily. Oh my god. Okay. Can, can we? Can... Okay. Yeah, focus, focus. No, no memes. This is not. This is not the roundup. No, sorry, before you, uh, no, before you see this elaborate sort of middle the upper class penthouse hmm. on both balconies, there's two guards. At the front gate, there's two guards, and on the inside, there's three guards. Ah. They seem to be wearing basic Mandalorian light armor, similar to Torx. However, much more ancient and cheaply made. Torque, do not escalate the situation more than it needs to be. As a note, Leola will- Oh come on, can't I escalate just a little? Um, as a note, Leola lands the ship, um, <clears throat> um, a little ways away so that they walk up to the- to the, uh, to, um, to the, uh, area. Ugh, my brain is not working today. <laughs> exactly. Torque, these are your kind. Deal with them civilly. And deal with them quickly. Right <sighs> over. Out of character, I'd like to recommend one doing thing. doing the same with any other Jedi. Flutter, let the DMs talk. Have... Silver out of character, do you still have the briefcase? Uh, did we take the briefcase? 
Guess we did. Okay, then. It's empty now, so here... There are two ways to get in. You can either pretend you're bringing Revan's payment to this man, or you can go in guns blazing. I go for the second option. We shall do the former. Like right. I said, okay. civil, civil, civility. All right. Civility is boring. Revit, oh, I... Revit himself is taking that is taking that option because he does not want he does not want any of us to get arrested. Do you want uh... a Jedi in a jail cell? Fine, fine, fine. Can I at least take, can I at least can I at least take my new toy? Yes. He did say leave no evidence, but he did say cure you. He did say leave no evidence, but he did say do not make too much commotion. Besides, this is a this is a this is a penthouse that is very that is very upper class. Yes, but the pro the thing is, what a roll me a perception check, please. If you would like to all roll me perception. Uh, perce uh, perception, um... Perception, perception. What do I roll for perception? D20 you plus roll? the mod... D D20 plus... The... Your perception, which is plus six. What if What if it's zero? So, so, th so the same as before? Just roll a D20. Oh, just, yeah. just, just roll a D20 if it's zero? Mm-hmm. So, right. I rolled the same as before? Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes, same as the last two rolls. 19. Nice. 16. Uh, okay, guess I'll- guess I will roll a d20 minus <laughs> 1. Oh! Hey! Okay. 17! You notice that there is no security cameras. The only oh. security seems to be the guard. And also mm. the place seems very isolated. Oh. So are you guys walking up to the main gate? Yes. yes. Yep, we'll we walk are. up so to the main gate. The two, the two guards at the main gate go, What is your business with my master? We have a payment from Master Revan. He is a fresh is... from I shall I shall inform my master of your arrival. He has been expecting this. He goes to the common and says, Master, Revan has sent some people with your payment. Should I let them in? You hear a familiar voice coming from behind the door from coming from the calm wank. Oh no! Oh no! It's the toy, oh, it's the no. toy Darian, isn't it? No. It's the toy Darian, isn't it? No. I know where this is going, but I'm just gonna keep my flash shut. Oh god. Is this. Go ahead, cure you. Continue. Yeah, the ahead, voice cure. has an. The voice has. A very hmm, 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 very oh. deep, and oh, you don't no. seem to you don't you don't seem to understand the language. He's a hut. He's a hut. Yes. Oh yes. boy. Raven, why? He called it. He, basically, my world. He basically. The huts were the, one of the main reasons that Revan's forces were able to keep themselves supplied with enough weapons. Oh. Okay. Now, as you guys walk towards... What is his name, more specifically? Not telling you. His name is Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we had to make at least one Spaceballs joke here. <laughs> Yes. Wait, 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 wait. So does that mean so? So if we did, so if we didn't find this guy, does that mean does that mean we wouldn't have found shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Mario. Okay, back in character, back in character. Back in the character. Mario. Okay. So the door, the gate opens as you walk by the two guards. <laughs> One of the guards notes, hmm, another Mandalorian. What are you doing on this planet? Uh, I figured to see how that's, that's, that's your, that's your business. I'm just here with these guys. It's weird. Your armor doesn't seem to be part of any battalion I know of. Are you f freelancer? Eh, maybe. Where or you keep honor? moving. Move along, Twerk. Alright, alright. As you come up to the door, another guard, another guard opens the door into the main hall. In it, you see the visage of a hut. A long, slimy, disgusting... <sighs> Where did it have to be in huts? So, uh, focus, Dean. As the guy starts talking, he has someone standing next to him. Looks to be a sort of standard-looking protocol droid translating. So, Revan has came with my payment. Two yes. Two one. Show me the goods. Torque, if you will. All right. All right. In the case. <clears throat> uh, quick out of character, is there anything in the case? Maybe. We should probably we should probably specify this real quick. Yeah. Did you guys remember to take the bags out the case, or did you guys leave the bags in the case? Hmm. We're hey, wait, wait, real quick. We are handling this discreetly, right? Yes. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I feel like. Um, I feel like we can, like, we can have this be, um... Hang on. Okay, looks like the Yobot left the building. Um, I think that we can handle this both discreetly and let Torque have a little bit of fun. Hang on, I'm sorry, sorry about that. That thing was, was calling me. Okay. Uh oh Okay, um, so, hmm. You, you, I'm just going to assume you forgot to take the bags and he will sit and... Okay, that's... 7-Eleven. Hmm, sorry about that, Thomas. So, two, he counts the bags. Two, two thousand credits. Hmm, the man knows how to keep up a bargain. So, by chance, why did he send... You guys. Surprised this number call himself. He had to He's a bit preoccupied at the yes, moment. He is a bit he is a bit preoccupied with his own. With his own um guys roll, me, guys roll me perception again. Alright. Okay. Oh yes! <laughs> Not twenty! Should I should I confirm? Over. Wait, hold it. Me. So since this, since, this, since this is your first natural twenty in this session, and we're not going to have you confirm it, you can just keep the nat twenty. Yeah. Same roll. We'll get. We'll get to you later. So silver notices out the corner of his eye. <laughs> The guards from up top seem to have disappeared. Huh. No noise. And the other also notes, notices this. But Silver right. now, but that was still, that was Silver's natural 20, he also notices figures darting above us. Oh no. But you you can see the guards and missing, but you can you cannot see the figures. Ah. Uh, why aren't they gone? Why are they Let's not? Just... 
or anyways, what was, yeah. what was what was the last thing that the that the hut said to us? Two thousand credits. Mm, he does not keep up a bargain. Indeed. However, yeah. he he has noticed something a bit concerning. Yes. And he has tasked three of us to deal with that problem. Is this where is this where is this where we is this where we um init or is this where we initiate combat? Roll initiatives. Roll All right. plenty push your initiatives. Alright, so that's going to be okay. that's going to be plus seven. Hang on, uh That's uh e twenty plus yep, that's also seven. Um oh, yeah. rolling twenty six. Very nice. Uh, also seven and I am trained. Okay, and okay, initiative is uh, is uh, uh, and I, I am trained. Button. So wait. Okay, how do you, okay, okay. How do you okay. how do you indicate how do you indicate that you are trained? Um it, it's pl it's you, Plus five. Oh yeah, plus five. Well, that would actually be plus twelve. Uh no, what wait. What's okay? What what's your dex? What's your dex? My plus dex two. is. You want this rule yes. plus seven? Yeah, plus seven. What, yeah, seven. I want to. And okay. what uh, do I roll? D twenty or? Uh, your D twenty plus dex. And if you have it trained, plus five. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, dex, dexterity is uh, plus three, and it's normally a 16. Uh, so D, well, D20 you're... plus three. Plus the dex modifier. Yeah, dex modifier, I meant. So it's right. plus three, and if you're trained, it's also plus five. Yeah, but your initiative is plus three. Okay, oh, yeah, so, plus three. Okay, so what do I roll? Uh, D20, D20 plus three. Plus three. Don't screw it up. Like this? Okay. Yes. Okay. No, and no, I need to roll three times. Two for the guards. Other people and one for the hut. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Fourteen. Wait, which one's so, the hut? The fourteen. Okay. He's the one with the lowest initiative. Twenty-six. 23, 22, 21, 18, 14. So fast on the initiative is silver. All right. Um, gonna gonna pull out my blaster and sh and shoot uh and shoot one of the guys in the uh and shoot one of the guys uh up above. Okay. So that is going to be um attack Strength. attack. Oh. Yep. Oh, attack. Yep, so <laughs> attack is two. So rolling d twenty plus two. Six No No silver. No silver. That's not how you roll with a ranged weapon. Right, you roll with a ranged weapon. Wait, what is that exactly? I botched. Silver. You roll. Uh, what is it? It's... I'm bringing up the combat tab now. Okay. I really should have... I really should have, uh... Um... Okay, here's the thing, guys. I am very... I'm... I am not that well-versed in... In D20. I am more well-versed in... In Homebrews and World of Darkness, so... Mm. But this campaign is, is called Darkness Rising. Out of out of character. Takes the lightsaber. Bonk. Boy. This is what oh, this is what I have to deal This is what I have to deal with on a day on a on a daily basis. So Silva. Well, for us it's a weekly basis, Flutter. 
Like I yes. said, that was out of character, bonking the Elbot. Yes. So for the most ranged weapon, 1d20 plus your base attack modifier plus your dex modifier. Okay, I believe that that... I don't think that there is a... Uh, Hang on, let me check. Up, let me check uh, the blaster pistol real quick and see if it actually does have a uh, an attack modifier because I don't think it does. Nope. Your base attack at level one is plus one. Wait, I thought it was at. I thought it. Uh, I am confused. Your your, ba your base attack comes from your class. Right, and <clears> so <throat> plus one plus my dex, I believe, right. Yes. Okay. So, then that's plus three. My bad. Let's try that again! We've had a bunch of... Seven! Oh! <laughs> to quote Whoa. the game grumps, I fired and I missed. <laughs> God damn it! I fired and I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Silver, I think you need to face facts. You are our Mike Shell. No! <laughs> no! Next up on initiative. Damn it, no! It's uh... going to be one of the mysterious shadows. Uh, uh, I have tears in my eyes. Oh god. Suddenly you hear a bit. Su suddenly you hear a blaster ping. We all, uh... I thought that you told me that you knew how to shoot. Oh crap! No. Hey, okay, uh, real quick in character, she shoots and it's like blast. I missed. I thought that you told me that you knew how to shoot. I know how to shoot. Clearly, you don't, since you missed. Anyways. Twice. Anyways, go you. Give me a second, I need to get the damage mod. So, 3d8. Also, DL oh. check the fan made sharing cha channel on cool. Dark T chat. I, I, I saw that. Guys, don't don't look at don't look at the thing. So, this guy is. So, this master fire hits the hut on oh. sort of in the blue area for 17 damage. Oh, you actually. You actually hit. You actually hit one of them. That wasn't Liala. Oh. That wasn't me. She looks a bit confused at the uh, at the at at the at the shot. And then it's is, our other mysterious shadows turn. Is one of his guards turning on him? Maybe. Hmm. Makes that job a lot easier. Yes, very much so. Hmm. He hits as well. Suddenly, out of nowhere, you you hear a shing. Wait. As Revan comes into the battle. <gasps> Master Revan! She turns and. What are you doing here? Or, yes, what are you doing here, Master? I said I was taking care of some business. I didn't think you guys would actually walk in. I thought you guys would have taken care of the guards a bit more boldly. Thank you for Thank assisting you. us. Thank you for assisting us, Master. Thank you. I, I, opted for, I opted for the butt approach, but, oh, but no. These guys say, I say, let's be stealthy. That's 52 damage in total. At least he, at least, at least we have another skill, another man skilled with a light, little with a lightsaber on our side. At least I'm not alone. A bit strange that you that you'd a bit strange that you'd have that you'd have us take care of him, and yet and yet you come to t to do job to do the job yourself. He may just be assisting us, provided we didn't get the job done as quick as he thought. 
Or maybe much like, or maybe much like, like I, like I suggested, he wanted to go for the blunt approach. True, true, for sensitive. <laughs> Admit it, I was right for once. All right, Torque, you were right for once. You were right for once. Louder. Okay. Don't make, don't make me hit you. Don't make me hit you again. Who's next on initiative? It is. It is. Yes. I roll to attack. I roll to attack one of the other guards. No, for your attacking, since you're attacking with a melee, you just roll d20 plus base attack plus strength. Plus base attack, which is plus one, and plus your strength plus modifier. One. Actually, wait, basic. Oh, base attack. Okay. Um, I never, I never, I never filled that up. So just one. Plus one, and then, so you're basically rolling a d20 plus four. G okay, it's d20 plus four. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Oh. You missed. <laughs> Oh, I missed! <laughs> you, Mr. Revan. And now, oh. since the, your hey, tactic yeah. was Hey, you know, DL Bot, that's actually really fitting because it's the 10th anniversary of uh, Chugga Conroy's Let's Plays. <clears throat> it is not right. your turn. <clears throat> Let's see if our Mandalorian can actually hit something. What All right. are you hitting with? Judging, judging from judging from what we judging from from the predicament that he was in when we met. Hmm. Do I do I have the sparrow on me? You did. You did see you picked it up. So uh I'd like to try try using that. D twenty plus one plus your strength modifier. Eight. Oh my Eight. god. This is adorable. Plus I'm one sorry. D twenty plus D twenty plus, uh, plus one plus my strength modifier. So D twenty plus four. <laughs> this is absolutely adorable. All right. Flutter, focus. Their ideal date. Their ideal date is tiny, adorable murder. Flutter, focus. Do you about roll, please? Uh, all right. So, all right. So just. All right. So just be, be clear. Clear. One D, roll, roll 1d20, 20, 20, with plus 4. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, just checking. Jeez. Sorry. Never mind, this is my first time even doing this shit. I know. 12! Only slightly <laughs> better than our, than our pitiful rolls. Yes. Oh, Alright, uh, how do I roll damage? I mean, you are. Uh, you're Wait, that actually doing... hit? Yes! HA! I actually hit it while you, while you both missed! I am giving you the double bird right now, DLBot. Hey, don't be mad! That's just because I roll something better than you. So, DLBot. On your first roll, no less. So they have uh, one damage to 3d8. Alright. Uh, yeah. D8. Plus your strength modifier. Alright. So, roll 3. 3d8. Oh. Plus 4. Yes. Wait, no, your strength mod you... is plus 4? No, that's... No, strength mod. Three. three plus your strength mod. Oh, okay, yeah. so plus three. Yes. 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 All right, so three D uh, eight, eight, and plus three. Yes. Yes. Use yes. the advanced roll option to basically roll yes, them. Yes, advanced roll the D eights. All right, I have three for rolls, rolls D eight in the end of the dice section, and plus three, three at the end. Roll. Yep, yeah, roll. Yeah, yes. roll. Roll. 13 damage. Nice. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Thankfully, you can actually hit something. It is now the hut's turn. Torn. Right. Thankfully, you can actually hit something compared wait, to when we first met wait, you. Wait, you? what's the hut going to do? It, it, what, is it just going to flail its arms at us? Is it gonna, like, barf at us to death? <laughs> <laughs> no. And out of character, the abort, prepare to do the bender coat. Oh, Which God. bender coat? It's, it's, going to, it's going to waste all its actions to try and move away from you guys. <laughs> it's trying to okay, 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 okay. escape. Okay, okay. It's trying to escape. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Scotsman, you're, you're probably going to have to show me which bender quote you, what you mean, since I'm not really a Futurama guy. Let me laugh even harder. Oh! Oh, I, I, oh, that one. Okay, sure, sure. Got it, got it. He's just like, he's just screaming, uh, this hot, just, just screaming and going in pain as he's trying to es escape from his front door. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, he's actually trying to escape. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> That's the top of the round. <clears throat> All right, so it's back to me? Yes. All right. Well, he actually hit something. Oh, fuck you! Uh, aiming at one of the guards. Aiming at one of the guards, shooting. Finally! 19! Roll damage. Alright. Damage is... That... Okay. Plus. Uh, actually it's 3d6. Uh, plus, uh... What's the, what's the mod? Oh, yeah, 3d6, because... Uh, what's the mod for ranged weapons? Uh, damage mod for ranged weapons is a you push your dex modifier. Okay, so plus two. Ooh, fifteen. 15. Ooh, net six. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything oh. though. Oh, true. Are you uh, as you fire that shot towards him? All you hear is. Oh. And then, bang, as he hits the floor. Hmm. Oh. Did you just kill a hut? That's gonna leave a mark. That wasn't uh, the hut. He aimed at one of the guards. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, you, you just had the skull of a Mandalorian just pop. Oh. As as. As, so now, so now I know what. So now I know what. Now I know what happens. What happens if if Torque gets shot? At, as as she as she some as she, huh, uh, some, huh, some Mandalorian skull made the sound of popping balloons. What to know? Um. As as Leola, as Leola finishes taking the shot, she spins she spins her blaster pistol around. Um. Catches it and goes and just and blows on the um. And blows on the barrel, the just like. Yeah, and that's how it's done. The island was, you could be of some use to me, you had Grinch. And that was a great shot for a rookie. <laughs> this uh, ain't my help, um, hello. Oh, I just, oh, I, oh, I actually we hit my shot the first time. I'm all shit. He missed. Or, so, just, wait, oh, Rev, wait, Revan or, said that? Yes. She she just she just looks and is like, this ain't my first rodeo. And then he turns to talk and goes, at least she killed something. If you kill the hut, you get something special. Woohoo! It, it now comes to his, one of his troopers. He's gonna roll. Well, he, he's gonna roll his normal to hit. Uh, 
A d20 plus five. P hat. Uh, you question. How come? How come? Uh, how come the huts guards aren't shooting us? Uh, silver. Yes. See the ones that you can... see. The one that you shot. Yeah. What a bit of a. What a bit of a spoiler, he was wearing brown pants. Oh. Ow. He was too overwhelmed, and let's just say the others are no are there. Oh my one was Hmm. Okay. No, <laughs> Anyways. You, you, you can't say that, that was so, without someone actually the corresponding response. So. <laughs> Anyway, that Raven's Trooper hit for 17 damage. Wait, what's Raven's Trooper's name? Or does, we it have, does he have a We name? don't know. You've not asked me. God. A <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so, it's, it's so fitting because it, it's Chugga's 10th anniversary. Back to Revan, he hits. Wow. Damn. And you see why I respect this man. Take, oh. take, take note, Torque. Take take no. Oh, you mean like like uh, how like how bad your aim was earlier? Torque? Hold your tongue, especially around Evan. There we go. Who's next on the initiative? I think it is... Dean. Yep. So, I'm going to be attacking one, uh, one of the guards on the left. So that would be D20 plus... Are you attacking with your lightsaber? Yes. Push your strength mode. Three. Roll the hat. A what? Roll the hat. Ah. There we Finally. go. Now we've got it Thank a lot you. better. And then roll 3d8. 3d8 plus three? Mm-hmm. Seventeen damage. How do you want to kill him? What? How do you, How do you want, want to kill, kill him? Guard? How do you X want to kill slash, the guard? X slash X slash. Decapitation. Decapitation. Cross slash. Yeah. Aww. Well, we still see the decapitations are a bit too messy. Well, there's still a big pool of blood on the floor. Jedi like to Jedi like style over substance. That is not the Elbow's turn. I would like to, I would like to like to kill the hut. Do you aim for the hut? Yes. Yeah, because wasn't Shoot there the wait, wasn't there two guards? They're dead. Yeah, exactly. So, so there's only one target left. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, Although, are you, are you shooting the man while he's running aim? away? Yeah, yeah, but are you taking aim at the hut? Yes, I am. Add a bonus two to your roll for the ranged attack, since you're taking aim. All right. All right. So, so D so, so, so it's uh D twenty plus D20. Dex mod plus one plus two. All right, so one roll, roll one d twenty, twenty and plus five. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Only a ten. Oh, you missed. Or did he miss? That's five. You rolled a five. You rolled a ten. 
Yo, you, what's, what's the, what's the, what's uh... the target number? He just has the target number. Ten. Oh, it's oh! just hit. <laughs> ha! 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 Four thought. Four thought. I thought that... One. It's a, it's a little confusing knowing that the die that the die is is oh wait never mind it's color it's color based duh yeah no uh what does 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 they say this he's a hut he is wearing no armor oh it's god your she has nothing I'm shooting right through a man's. All right. Okay, well, we'll so what? So, so three D eight plus three. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Double net D eight. Or double net eight. Yeah. Oh, you roll a one. That doesn't matter. True. Where's the roll? It's not coming up. It's, he rolled double nat 8 and a 1. Plus 3, that makes 20. Where were you, where were you aiming, Gilbert? Please don't say the tail. The head. Also, also gentlemen, B and BRB. Suddenly there's, an, there's a smell of burnt flesh. No, 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 no. Oh. Boiler one in the hut. I'm at BRB in 20 minutes because I need to make tip. Uh, hopefully we can finish this up within 20 minutes. Well, the hut's dead. Okay. Well, remember, we have to... Can you describe what the, what the, what the, uh, ranged attack looks like from the Sparrow? He wasn't he, he was using it. Huh? Besides that, I seriously doubt that we're going to want to stop in 20 minutes and cure you. I don't understand. Oop. I well, you, your target is dead. We could wrap up right now. Mm. Oh, yeah, we're wrapping it up. I want to hear, I want to hear how, uh, how the shot, what the shot looks like when, when, uh, when Torque shoots it. Oh. <laughs> Even though Evan did say not to leave any evidence. So. Uh, so who are you? In a second. Oh. Do you guys remember? What, do you guys remember the uh, the spiral's critical finish? Show? Oh. Basically, okay. Basically, condensed into a small beam, fired right through the head. Oh. Oh my. And suddenly, like I said, this gun has a special ability. As the hut gets shot. He disintegrates. The blast seems to start eating away at the body. Oh god! Oh god! Let's let's wait for DLBot to get back and then and then and then we can explain it. Yeah. Hopefully uh, he to, shows to, back to, soon. To give a little insight. That basically if anybody, if the <coughs> barrel can look shot, it basically eats away the evidence. Uh, <laughs> also, also, Silver, have you heard the news about about the new Ultraman series? Is now really the time? Oh, true. Well, well, the, the man who's firing is AFK, and you said we we should wait to. Right. 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 It. Okay. Four names have been trademarked. Well, 
well, three, but one has been thrown around. Ultram, and one of them is very much phrasing. Ultraman Lube, Ultraman Rosso, and Ultraman Bull. Whoever Ultraman Bright has been thrown around. Okay, then. So wait, Bright there's four Ultraman? Four names. And okay. it's Ultras, not Ultraman. Okay. <laughs> yes, Ultraman Lube. You say Loop or Lube? Lube. Oh God. Yeah, I am seriously hoping that it is pronounced Lube. Please have something to do with like in a very similar way to with Kamen Rider Grease and not. Oh god, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. Kyo, are you still there? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <sighs> Dialbot, are right, you? Ultraman Bull. Ultraman Bull. Taro's son? Mm, maybe. Because Taro did have horns. Well, for to, supposedly it's been confirmed by Super Ryan that the next Ultra is the son of Taro. Oh, regardless of name. Mm hmm. <sighs> Waiting patiently for the Dialbot. But the question is Fota, how did Taro meet the mother? And he's coming back. <sighs> yep. Okay, and I'm back. Okay. So. so so basically, you know, you know the, uh, so you know the, the critical finish from the Gashcon Sparrow? Yeah. <laughs> basically does that except a giant beam that, that annihilates his head. <laughs> and it starts eating away at the rest of the body. Leaving behind a fresh scent of pine. Leola just looks at, Leola just looks at it dumbfounded and then looks at Torque, then looks at the Sparrow. And then looks and at Revan. Goes, Why would you give him that? He said he wanted an exotic weapon. I wasn't going to use it. What is that figure. thing? Where did you even find it? I got off a crazy person a couple of years ago. Kept calling himself God. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh god, no! I get it! I get it! Gem. Well played, Scotham. Well played. Uh, I don't know. I don't but know what. All serious. But in all seriousness, when I got it, it didn't have the eating away thing. I added that myself with an arrow machine on it. Oh boy. I get. I get the key. Revan. Right. Revan yeah. does have a does have a bit of a sadistic streak. I should know. I've seen him in combat. Oh boy. No. no. I to keep this, right? <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, <laughs> since, since, since my acquaintance is now dead, I have had my men deliver the rest of the stuff. Oh, I want to be on my you way. All out, all out. You said, hey, hey, kills, or kills the hung, and get the prize. I did. Like I said, it's all the shit. Ah. Raise the back to the ship! <sighs> and with that, session zero is over. Alright! Oh, that was fun. That was oh, pretty that was fun. Oh, that was so much fun. Even though there are multiple continuity issues that are brought up into question, Kyoryu. Am I allowed some creative freedom? Yes. A little but, bit of column A, with a little bit, a little bit of column A with a little bit of column B, and cure you in the middle. <laughs> Wait, you put a cure you in the middle? Why not? Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, guys, that will <laughs> that will do for session zero of of Night Rogues Darkness Rising. And hopefully next week we should have some more. 
visual representation on the screen of what's happening. Hopefully. Yeah. Anyways, um, Maybe. so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, as our first little outing. Anyways, um, until next time, this is your resident Radiant Rider, Silver Maxis, saying peace out, stay awesome, and stand up. Za Vangado! This has been your Flamboyant Flyer, Flutter Gun 80, saying we're on flyers. <clears throat> uh, Jody? Tell about you, Gold. How would the GM will say something last? The, yeah, the DM, the DM says something last. All right, all right, all right. I, I have been your riddle god, uh, the Evil 22. You might know that I'm just a passing by Toku fan. Remember that? And I love my I new spit. Yeah, you know, and please don't forget to, and to praise my meme lord god, Dan Kuroto. I still um, can't believe that you added that in. My god. It's a little <laughs> reference to where the weapon comes from. And I am My the Crimson God. Next time on Darkness Rising, we will see what's in the box. What what's in the fucking box? box? What's in the box? What all present? And we also get to find out what the Raven has in store for our dear friend Dean. <sighs> at least. At least. We'll be off this godforsaken planet. Or will we? Or will we? <laughs> Anyways, we will see you guys next time. Bye bye. See you.